Hello, and welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes with Franza. I'm your host, Dr. Thomas Franza. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to connect your laptop to our eStation located at Dowling College on the Brookhaven campus in our Research Leadership Learning Center. It's really straightforward, and the most complicating part is knowing your laptop. Uh, today I'm using a Lenovo or an IBM uh, tablet, but it's pretty much the same thing. Well, first thing that we're going to do is uh, turn on our laptop. Believe it or not, you could turn the digital data projector on and bring your laptop up, and usually what will happen is your laptop will see the digital data projector and it will automatically project through. But I'm going to make things more complicated for myself, just because I can, and, well, I've got five minutes to fill. So, first thing we do is we come on over, and you'll see that my uh, e-station uh, is already awake. If it wasn't, if this was dark, I'd push the button once, you'd hear a click, it would come to this display. If I pushed it, I didn't hear a click, it didn't come to this display, then it means that the e-station is off. I come on over here, and I push this into the on position. Wait about a minute for the screen, for the system to boot on up. Once it's up, I would push this again, and here we go. Because I'm showing my laptop, it doesn't matter if I push PC or video, because I'm going to have to go to the projector uh, panel and change it to be my laptop. So I'm going to say PC. It says, all right, it's getting things ready to go. My arm will swing down. While that's swinging down, I'm going to come on over here to the side, and I'm going to turn on my display, whatever is on my laptop or PC will come through to this display. So that's something you might want to take into consideration. If I'm showing a video, uh, v, uh, VHS or a DVD, and I have a PowerPoint presentation that goes along with it, well, guess what? I can actually have the PowerPoint presentation up on the side, show the video over here, and my audience could be, I could have the cues that I want my audience looking for up on the side. Okay. So, what I need to do now is I need to connect all the cables. You may even want to connect the cables before you turn the digital data projector on. Uh, that's your call. Okay, I need to connect my laptop. So first I'm going to give it power. Plug it in. You notice we have, you can plug almost anything you want into here. I'm going to give audio, right? So this cable runs into my laptop in my uh, headphone jack. Okay, so now whatever sounds are playing on my laptop is going to go through the house system. I grab my cable. Don't worry, you don't need to bring these cables. We have these cables for you. However, if you have a Mac and your Mac needs a special adapter, I recommend that you bring it. We have a spare one tucked away somewhere, but you know what? It's not a bad idea for you to pick one up. They're about like 30 bucks or so from the Apple store. And then that would allow you, it would give you the VGA connector that we see here. And now you'd be able to plug that in. We also have a network drop here. There is wireless in this room, so technically you don't need to plug in uh, a patch cable, but I'm old school and if I've got a network port that I can plug into, I do. I just like to know that I've got a solid 100 megabit connection. Makes me feel good inside. All right, so there we go. That's all connected. I need to tell my laptop to project through. So on a, on a Lenovo or an IBM, it's function F7. You see this, but this key is almost like a universal. You'll see something like this almost on any laptop. And you see this is, shows me that I have the multiple displays. On my laptop, running Windows 7, it brings up this screen. I'll use my arrow key to move on over to choose duplicate. Extend, what that would do is that would take, I'd have like the equivalent of two screens. And when I move the mouse off the edge here, it would then come on to the Hitachi Starboard or my digital display. In this case, I just want to choose duplicate. Now, whatever is being displayed on my laptop is going to go through to my digital data projector. So, I come to my panel, and I want to display my laptop. So, I push the button that says laptop, and it says, okay, give me a second. You'll see that uh, my side display comes up immediately, so I have what is on my laptop is being displayed on my sideboard. If for some reason the digital data projector is being a little finicky, it's really not that big of a deal. I can just push laptop again. It says, okay, give me a second. And there we go. There's uh, multiple computer inputs, and if it toggles to the wrong one,
just push it again and there it is. That's it. Now I've got my presentation on my laptop. I run it from here. It's good to go. I know it's going to work exactly the way that I prepped it, the way that I had practiced it. So it'll work. And that's all there is to it. So if you've got a laptop or a netbook or an iBook, whatever it is that you have, or a MacBook Pro, you can jack it into the eStation and give your presentation knowing that it's going to go exactly the way that you want. When you're done, shut down the laptop, come over here, press main, press exit. Are you sure? Yes, I am. The digital data projector will turn itself off. Come on over to the side, turn off the display, gather your belongings, and you're done. That's it. It's that easy to connect your laptop to our eStation located here at Dowling College and our Research Leadership Learning Center on the Brookhaven campus. I hope you found this episode of 5 Minutes with Friends useful. I'm your host, Dr. Thomas Franza. Thank you for watching.